Yeah, on this day, Kevin McCarthy could only afford to lose a small number of GOP votes. And in the end, eight members of his conference sided against him, joining with all Democrats who were present to oust him as Speaker. The Office of Speaker of the House of the United States House of Representatives is hereby declared vacant. That historic vote came after hours of debate on the House floor, that action spearheaded by Florida Republican Congressman Matt Gates, who has been critical of McCarthy, including the short-term budget deal he reached over the weekend with Democrats to avoid a government shutdown. After the vote, McCarthy left the House chamber without comment. Exactly when a new speaker could be elected is unclear. It took McCarthy 15 rounds of votes to become speaker back in January, his tenure just shy of nine months. This historic moment throws into question whether a new spending deal can be reached in a few weeks to avert that government shutdown. There's a MAGA extreme Republican group that uh, Speaker McCarthy had cut a deal with in January now that has come back to bite him and they never changed. All three Republican members of Congress from Illinois, Representatives Mike Bost, Mary Miller and Darren LaHood voted against that motion to remove McCarthy. LaHood calling today's action a shameful maneuver that does a disservice to the American people and hinders the key conservative priorities that voters put a Republican majority in the House to advance. Congresswoman Miller saying, I voted against Kevin McCarthy 15 times in January, but no one else has stepped forward to run for speaker, and I will not surrender the majority to a coalition government with the Democrats. North Carolina GOP Congressman Patrick McHenry has been named temporary speaker but no real business can get done until a speaker is elected. And at, at this time, it's unclear who has the votes. Minutes ago, we learned from Kevin McCarthy's office that McCarthy himself has said he will not run again for speaker. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.